Hello to everyone, my name is Osha. As you already saw, I have invited you to join a webinar how to choose a credible aviation training institution. Why is it so important to choose the right commercial passenger jet training academy? To take advantage of aviation rewards, you must make sure you get the good knowledge that you'll need to be safe, confident pilot, of a commercial passenger jet. One of the most important steps in that process is finding the right training academy. Without any commercial passenger jet experience, on which to base your decision, of course, selecting a good training academy can be a challenging task. Aviation is a procedural and not well suited to impatience. Checklists are an aviation mainstay that ensures all procedures accomplished and, therefore, to make for safe flights. The same procedures can be applied to selecting a good training academy. So here are steps how to choose the right aviation training academy. BA made a research and came to a conclusion that if you are going to follow these steps, you will find the academy and qualified trainings, of course. So, uh, let's review all these steps together. So, make a list of 10 academies. Then, determine main criterions. Leave only three academies of 10. Of course, visit them. And make a final decision. So, let's get started. To start with, uh, uh, you should decide upon a type. How to choose a type was my earlier webinar, European Aviation, Current Opportunities for Commercial Pilots, uh, which of course you can find in your YouTube. So once you have given some thoughts to what you want, start putting together a list of possible aviation academies. This could look much easier to do from the first sight, because some academies could only resell trainings that you are looking for. So, spend some time in picking up the right academies. This is not a process of, let's say, buying a newspaper. Well, it looks more like buying a car. So, you have a list in front of you, yes? Good job! So, right now we are going to have a lot of things to do. This is just the beginning. Baltic Aviation Academy has thought of some criteria that should be critical in choosing a commercial passenger jet training academy. But you can add to this list yours too, of course. So, don't always trust in the academy that is in the market only for a year. Sometimes it could be good because they should be the ones mostly up to date. But, at the same time, they have not so many experiences in, and this could lead you to a not very professional knowledge. Baltic Aviation Academy recommends picking up academies that has a lot of trainings for, let's say, at least 10 types of aircrafts or those which are very concentrated and has trainings for not more than two types. These academies that have many types, they could provide you wider view of aviation and better practice. Those who have trainings for not more than two types could provide more detailed information of that exact your type. One of the most important things is to know how the academy is equipped, what CBT they are using, what are the materials for ground course, what mock-ups they are using, what level of simulator they have, how many hours it's used per day, and other similar things should be, of course, checked. Also very important is uh, what are the plans to renew their equipment, because you can't be up to date each minute, of course, uh, but the most important intentions. Don't you think a feedback after a week is good? I don't think so. This shows their attitude towards you. With this point, I think, well, everything is clear. Direct feedback always helps to make an impression about this academy. So, we have reached a step where you are coming closer to the right academy. 
you need to put pluses and minuses near all academies in your list. Now, calculate. Top 3 academies is your target. Only 3? Because this is the right number to judge right and to make the best decision. So now let's work with these 3 ones. Pilots are usually look at the full flight simulator phase immediately. But don't forget that ground course is half of your trainings. Check if there is a possibility of self-studies or only classroom and choose the best way for you. Also, usually ground course lasts of 14-16 days. If an academy provides more, it could be good and not at the same time. Good is that they will provide more information, more details and procedures of an aircraft. Bad, to have start, you have started this course to be not a professor, but to be a pilot. And good pilots are not those who never flies, or well, only read books. And of course, practice is not less important. Check what is the network of simulators, because if one gets out of order, you will, will they have a possibility to replace that? Not always practice ends when you finish typewriting course, of course. Additionally, you need as minimum a base training. Also, is there an option of line training? Does a training center provide this? If they could provide at least an opportunity, that means they have good connections, well, they might have good connections and could help you in finding you not only this. Ask for a draft uh, of agreement. Training center is not providing this? Then start to think if this is a partner that you would like to communicate and trust. Payment terms are usually similar in all academies, but maybe they will require 30 days prepayment. So then it depends on you if you like to transfer this amount so early. Many students focus all of their attention on finding the lowest price for the trainings. Rather than concentrate on costs only, it is recommended that students focus more on value. The cost of the flight training should be one factor in determining the value of that exact training. Be careful about the price of programs that appear lower than the price of most academies. Of course, all rules has exceptions, but it's the same as buying a computer. Basic computer costs not much, but if you need advanced with good memory or well, something like that, then it costs quite more than basic one. And of course, make sure you are comparing apples with apples. Carefully check what the price includes. Also one thing to consider, living costs. I am sure that living costs in UK are much different than in Romania. So this is also should be taken in mind. Imagine you are coming to an airport to start your trainings. You paid huge amount for this and you are finally here. But you are standing in an airport with luggage and nobody is there for you. You are alone by yourself in an unknown country. Do you like this picture? So this is also very important. Check what additional facilities and services they are providing. In what part of the city they provide accommodation. I am sure you would not like to live 30 kilometers from the city and think where to have dinner. You did a very good job. Now you must get a reward. Type rating training. Sum up. Only now it is the right time to sum up. Sum up everything, what you can from all the steps we had with you. I like putting pluses and minuses, of course. I recommend doing that uh, to you too. You don't like that? Use your way, but do that. And pick the one, the right one. So you have made very good summary about this, your number one academy. You know them, their policy, and it's time for the very interesting part, visit. Yes, it requires time. Yes, it costs. And yes, you need planning. 
but you get the idea of working with them. Once again, uh, let's imagine you have some free time and uh, would like to do something except well, learning. All of us need some leisure time, so you need to look what to do, make searches and so on. How much time would it save if everything would be organized by a training center? I think a lot. So sometimes extra services are also things that facilitate your stay. This is understandable and easy. You are already there. Get their thoughts. The instructor might be a great pilot, but is the instructor a great teacher? After all, you are there to learn to fly a commercial passenger jet. And you want the best instruction you can get for the money you are spending. So Baltic Aviation Academy came to a conclusion what are the main things in choosing an instructor. Sometimes training center can't provide you with information who is going to be the main your instructor. But then you can check training center's main requirements of how they are choosing instructors. So main things are experience, well, I mean flown hours, of course, and years of instructing. The rest depend on a training center. Company is not creating itself, people create it. So they are more important than you think. I have very good imagination, so once again I will rely on it. Imagine, you are having already tough time, a lot of studies and suddenly a problem appears. You have a car accident. You are in different country, you don't know anyone. You need to rely on people you know a bit, well, training center employees. And imagine, they are not helpful. Not very good station, right? An account manager. This is one of the most important people to help you in the rest cases than trainings. So you are the pair and you need to get deserved services. I'm sure you understand this point very well. I don't need to explain that. Talk to the students who walk in the corridors. You will be breathing the same air as they, training center do. So try it on, if you can handle that atmosphere. Because around a month will be spent there. So, one month can be a nightmare or a great experience wishing to choose the right one for you. Thank you for your time and I hope this presentation was at least 1% helpful and one day you'll fulfill your dream. See you next time!